Lifetime's latest movie takes us to Philadelphia and the true story of Carlisha Gaither, who was abducted and fought to survive, and the family who never gave up hope for her safe return, including her mother, played by Kenya Moore. Take a look. You promised me that you would find my daughter. And you haven't yet. So now you're going to make me a promise you can keep. Tomorrow, you are going to hold a press conference. My family and I are going to speak, and we are going to say Carlisha's name over and over. Do you understand? I do. Then we have a deal. And Kenya joins us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. You too, as always. I love seeing you in this role, though. We get Thank to see you. you doing lots of drama on the Housewives, but yes. this is different. A this different is kind real of drama. drama. This is an unbelievable story, but it's a true story. It so is. tell us about Carlisha. Well, Carlisha was a 22 year old nurse's assistant, and she was coming home walking from a family gathering, and she was abducted off the streets. And she left little clues along the way in order for the authorities and her family to find her. And she, within 72 hours, was found because of how smart she was. Yeah, I mean, and obviously, you know, you, you played, her mother stopped at nothing to get her back. Yes. You played her mother in this film. Yes. You know, I, I, I was just telling you, I watch things and I absorb people's pain. <laughs> yes. So was it, I know you're a mom, was it heartbreaking for you to step into this role? It was, and in fact, when I first read the script, I put it down. I read 10 pages and in like you I know what I, I can't no I said I couldn't do it <gasps> I was so afraid it tapped into like my deepest fears as a mother yes. as a mother of a daughter yes um, and I just thought you know I can't do it and then I thought of why I should do it why because of the disparity in the news media yeah. Um, when black women go missing or black girls go missing. And I thought watching her and how smart she was, she's really teaching people how to survive a situation like that yeah. and to be found and to come back alive. And so I had, I used that in order to conquer my fear and I said, I have to do it. Yeah, I feel like, you know, we've, there, un unfortunately there are a lot of these stories out yes. there. But I feel like what makes this story different is how she reacted and yes. is how she handled this. Yes, she was smart and I wanted to play my role as Keisha, her mom. I wanted her to be that thinker, that person who remained calm and was solely focused on bringing her mom yeah. back, I mean, bringing her daughter back. And for me, I wanted to show that, that she learned it from me. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> she learned to stay calm, stay yeah. focused, and stay alive. And so that's what you need to teach your kids. All yes. of us out there got to teach our kids to stay exactly. calm, stay focused, and stay alive. Yes. Um, well, Hollywood is not, I mean, Hollywood is calling you, but you're not leaving Atlanta. You're still on the Housewives. Uh, and there's been a lot of rumors swirling about a cash shakeup. Yes. What's going been. on? You know what? I think they'll make an announcement pretty soon. As we saw, Candy said that she was leaving the show. I was very disappointed to see that. Um, but I, I feel confident that Candy made the right decision because yeah. she's going to be happy focusing on other things. She's a little mini mogul. Yes. And, you know, Candy will be okay. Who would you like to see come back? Or not come back. Oh, you fishing <laughs> for drama. Hey, look at you. <laughs> I'm just sitting back, you know, I'm just throwing it out there, Kenya. Well, obviously, I would have wanted Candy to come back. Yeah. She's my friend. Um, girls who really would like to be authentic on camera. Yeah. That's who I want to see. Yes, right. Because if you've got people just trying to create stuff, that's what Or desperate or, messy. you know, just trying to be relevant yeah. for no reason. And that is what I think ruins the show. Yeah. But I, I'm confident that they heard the fans. I think Bravo is listening. Yeah. And I think that they'll make the right decision. Yeah. I know you've been traveling a lot lately, too. Uh, you went to Morocco for your birthday. Yes. You were at Paris Fashion Week. Yes. What is that? What did that birthday trip mean for you? Um, you know what, for me, all of the things that have been happening in my life and just, it, for me, it was a celebration of the new Kenya. Yeah. Like, this is a new era for me. I want to just be happy. I want to be free. You know, my divorce was yes. finally finalized. No, I'm, wait, I'm still waiting <laughs> on the stamp, but it was finally um, granted. And so for me, I'm like, it just feels like a big weight was this, lifted off my a shoulders. A fresh start for a fresh Kenya. A start. It abducted off the street, the Carlisha Gaither story premieres Saturday, February 10th at 8 p.m. only on lifetime and for rent or purchase the next day on Amazon Prime. This is a new start for Kenya. Let's yes. go watch her movie. Yes. Good to see you.